This is News on China in two minutes. China will start using Russia's Vladivostok port, reducing freight transport costs. Distances will decrease by more than 800 kilometers for Jilin and Heilongjia provinces. The decision is part of the national strategic plan to revitalize the industrial base of northeast China. China and Russia also signed a natural gas supply agreement through the Far East route. China will transfer technology to Thailand to develop its high-speed rail network. The transfer may involve patents, licenses and other intellectual property rights. The China-Thailand rail project will span 873 kilometers with trains traveling at up to 250 kilometers per hour. It will be a key link in the southern corridor of the BRI that connects China and Southeast Asia. Rural young people increasingly prefer to work in their cities rather than in the metropolises. Among the reasons are better conditions at the local level of policies such as social security and medical insurance. The number of Chinese migrants working outside their home provinces fell again in 2022. Some factories are already facing shortages of low-skill workers. More and more cities are offering free accommodation for young job seekers. Those who are about to graduate or already have their degree can stay between 5 and 14 days depending on the city. Young people are looking for jobs in a labor market that will receive more than 11 million graduates in June. The unemployment rate among 16 to 24 year olds continued to grow this year, reaching 19.6% in March. Subscribe to News on China at dongshangnews.org.